Uh, you see my hair. I got my little afro going on. My hair's growing. It's wonderful. Anyway, so today, I went to the store. It's Monday. I always do my shopping on Monday. And I uh, have to go to a couple places. Well, one of the places is Sam's Club. And I uh, went to Target, Sam's Club. Went to the consignment uh, uh, shop. I drop off the consignment. Went to uh, Safeway. Burlington. I went to a bunch of places. I didn't buy anything. Just got some food. Anyway, I'm in Sam's Club. And I'm really starting to get a little annoyed. Because the people are looking at me funny. They're giving me that cautionary side eye. And I'm trying to figure out why they're looking at me like I'm crazy. And I realize it's the hair. People, please. Don't worry. I'm not about to start a resurgence of uh, uh, the Black Panthers uh, or any other such organization. Okay, peace be with them. Not for me, no. Uh, not to mention, did you see my kids? Did you see my kids? My, ki my kids, one of the, they yellow. Does that tell you anything? They're, they're very high up there. Okay. They mix biracial, inter whatever you want to call them. My husband is white. My baby got blue eyes. The baby in the car, I'm pushing. What do I look like? Who I'm going to run up on? And do what am I going to do with two kids at that? I said, calm down. It's okay, girl. It is okay. These people don't know. And then I, I got the one look from the old man. Like I had been. I, I was a runaway. You know what I was a runaway. Like I wasn't supposed to be out. I I know that man was probably about twice my height. I almost ran right up his chest. Okay, I think I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But there were people who were sweet. They were they were smiling. And my baby, he's real friendly in his little way. He was waving at him, just being sweet. And he broke the ice. And then, then every now and then I would feel something. I'm thinking, I know someone is not touching my hair. Don't touch. It may look like it. you want to reach out and don't do it though. Don't reach out and touch my hair. I don't know you. <sighs> if you can't tell, I'm outside. I'm on my deck. It's a beautiful day. It's a little warm, but not too bad. One of the kids in the house playing the uh, Wii. The other one is asleep. The baby. So I have peace and quiet out here. My husband's not home from work yet. He should be walking through that door any moment. It's okay. So I'm just having a little sandwich and some grapes. Before we go to the house of God tonight, I want to worship him. I'm sorry, I'm still going back to the people at, at the Sam's Club. <laughs> it's all good, though. I'm good. I'm good. I like it because I, I get the same thing in other places. I'm not going to name those places right now because, see, those people probably watching. You're probably watching. And, and if I call, I'm going to call your name one day, but I'm not going to do it right now. But when I do, I want you to be watching. In fact, I'm going to tag you on the video because I want you to see what I think about what you think about what I think about my hair. I don't care. So, anyway, we're going to, uh, oh, this breeze is nice. I wish y'all were here. Well, not really. Anyway, so I'm, I'm having a great day. It's a wonderful day. I just wanted to come by and just stop by and just say hi. And 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 uh, 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 just address you on the things that matter. Sometimes you get looks, you get comments. People have things to say, opinions. Um, you can't worry about those opinions. You have to do what you want to do. You're gonna do it for yourself. Don't do it for anyone else. Uh, 
I do what I do for myself and my husband. If he don't like it, we have class tonight at church, and it's uh, 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 for it's called strengthening the base. Okay, the base meaning your your foundation, um, and we go to the to the marriage class for the zero to seven years, I believe. So uh, I work on that there in that class. What I what yeah. yeah anyway, so that's a good class. I need it a lot. So um, yeah, because marriage sometimes it it's it's yeah. I'm I'm mad at my friends. I told them, and they know. I've told them to their face. I'm saying it right now to you, and they're watching. Uh, I'm mad at them because they lied to me. No, they didn't lie. They wouldn't say anything. They said I wouldn't listen. But I promise you, if they had sat me in a chair, strapped me down, put a gun to my head and said, look, girl, it's not what you think it is. It won't be what you think it will be. All of those things. I would have listened. Somebody got a gun to your head, you're going to listen too. <laughs> so, I'm just, I'm, I'm frustrated with them over that. But it's all good. They've been married for, uh, 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 okay, um, 15 years. And the other one, I believe somewhere a 12 12 13 years so I've only been married for three and a half years uh, got two boys a wife of one uh, not of one of the boys and not of a boy I'm married to a man one man I live in Maryland we don't we don't roll like that around here we yeah we only marry uh, one at a time uh, sometimes we marry a lot but not all at the same time. We marry one at a time. That's just not how we roll around here. If that's you, you, okay. Uh, I guess we could go back and forth with David and Solomon in the Bible. But they weren't right, as you can see and tell. Uh, God had to help them a lot with their issues. And um, he's a good God. And he will even help you with yours. All you have to do is turn over all those husbands and wives to him. And he will help you sort through. Don't live too far from the airport. So what you hear is an airplane overhead. So if I just got drowned out, that is why. I am not on a plane. Nor am I falling from a plane. Uh, so we're, we're trying to strengthen the base here because uh, marriage is very, very uh, difficult. Uh, and if you do not have the fight, do not have the will, determination, the guts, the uh, backbone, the stamina, the uh, the desire, the love, the strength in God, you won't make it. It's simple as that. You won't last two days if that's the case. And some people still have the, uh, what do you call it? They on their honeymoon still. Yeah, no. No, we're not necessarily on our honeymoon still. We we passed the honeymoon stage probably about uh, three years ago. So, uh, we are right now in the throes of uh, still learning each other. And things are different from when you're dating. It does not matter how long you have dated. They are different regardless. It is not the same. But it's good. So, I want to tell you that uh, I just want to say, if you're married, stay in there. Stay strong. Be blessed. Because uh, if you keep God as your center, you will succeed. Uh, as far as parenting, I have no, I have no advice for you there. I have two children, and they're still alive today, at this moment. I don't know what's going to happen in a few more minutes. I don't know. I, I, I don't have any advice for you other than just uh, stay strong, because uh, and try to stay ahead of them. Because if you don't, you will die. Uh, the kids today, yeah. And they come out already talking and walking. So uh, they, that means they already know some things that you don't think they know, but they know. And they act like they don't understand, but they really do. And they plot things against you. I, I'm sure of it. My husband and I are trying to stay strong. That these boys don't overtake us and overthrow us like they, they have tried to uh, do others. And have succeeded in reference to nanas and pop pops, aunties and uncles. I'm not going to be overthrown like they have been overthrown and overtaken. Uh, my mind is still here, what little I have. And I'm going to, I'm going to walk on. I'm going to continue on in the faith. So pray my strength in the Lord that I will continue to be a mother of two.
So I don't have any. I, I don't have any. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't have any uh, advice for parenting for you today. I will try and think of some. Don't do what I, I do. What not to do. Don't kill them. Don't beat them. I believe in spanking. I said don't beat them. And don't let them overthrow you. Kids are smart. Really smart. And uh, they will fight you. Maybe not physically, but mentally, they will take. They will put you to the test. They will. They will push you and pressure. And you will feel like you're just being uh, pressured and pushed down, and smushed down under someone's thumb, like a bug. And you just got to fight back, okay? And if there's more of you against the kids, the better. If you are a single parent, I have been there. Understand? Get some help, okay? You got friends. You got family. Get some help. Someone will help you to overtake these children because, well, you know. So, I love my kids. I love them very much. They are, they are wonderful little boys. Um, very smart. Very smart. And they keep me laughing. So, I hope that I have done the same for you today. As I've just chatted with you here and my food, I'm glad it's not getting cold because it is cold. It's a sandwich. And grapes. The Sam's Club grapes. You see how big they are because, you know, see the fruit today. Okay, anytime you're getting a, a strawberry, you pop a strawberry in your mouth and you got to hold it like so. To bite it, something ain't right with that strawberry. Strawberry's not supposed to be that big. It's what they inject in the food. I don't care how healthy you are and what the food you cl you claim you eat. I had strawberries. It's supposed to be growing around the corner. I got uh, uh, pumpkins. I got gourds. I have peppers and I have tomatoes. I got blueberries and, and uh, raspberries over there. Cherry tree. And I don't live in the country. I just have a country husband and he likes that type of stuff and it's fine I love it too it's nice my fruit don't look that big I don't have grapes the size of a plum and raspberries the size of a nectarine everything is the way it's supposed to be so be careful what you eat okay but I'm gonna go ahead and eat these big grapes I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of my peace and quiet. And I'm going to holler at y'all later. You go to church. And strengthen the base. Praise him. Pray my strength in the Lord. Don't forget. It's not about you. And please, laugh loud and laugh often. This is fun and I'm signing off. Good day.